Read a book every day for small children. Ratatouille Remy the rat wants to be a chef. Linguini is the son of Augusta Gustiu, a restaurant owner, who rescued Remy from drowning. Linguini inherits his father's restaurant and Remy assists him in cooking. However, Linguini as a cook fails but mistaken to be a world-class chef because of Remy. Let's read a story of the duo. A Delicious Duo Alfredo Linguini walked into his restaurant one morning to the smell of a delicious mushroom and cheese omelette. He entered the kitchen to find his friend Remy cooking up a wonderful breakfast for the two of them. What a surprise! This looks really good, Linguini said happily. As they ate, Remy noticed his friend was quieter than usual. He nudged Linguini's elbow and gave him a worried look. Linguini sighed. Ah, it's nothing. It's just that this breakfast surprise reminded me that today is Scarlett's birthday and I have no idea what to get her. Maybe some flowers? Or a, a hat? Or... Remy shook his head and ran over to the stove. He thought that he and Linguini could make Colette a nice meal for her birthday, so he pretended to cook an omelette to try to make Linguini understand. But Linguini did not understand. Yeah, I already said the food was great, he said. Remy abandoned the empty frying pan and instead picked up his favorite cookbook and tried to bring it to the table. But the book slipped from his paws and fell to the ground with a loud thud. Whoa! Linguini jumped up from the table to see what had happened. Hey, this book gave me an idea. I can cook her something. I bet she will love it. Remy sighed with relief, glad that Linguini had figured out the perfect birthday plan. Linguini flipped through the cookbook, shaking his head at all the fancy recipes. Finally, he landed on something he thought even he could cook. Scoglio, a seafood pasta. What about this? Linguini asked his friend. Remy nodded enthusiastically and began running around the kitchen collecting the ingredients they would need to make the dish. Whatever he didn't find in the kitchen, Linguini wrote down on a piece of paper to take to the supermarket and fish market. Linguini also added a note to get flowers. He thought that idea was pretty good too. Once Linguini had the final list, he headed for the door. Thanks for your help, little chef. I will be back soon. But Remy jumped up onto his ladder trying to stop Linguini before he could leave the kitchen. Linguini shook his head. Look, I really appreciate all your help making this list and getting ingredients. But since this is a special gift from me to call it, I think I, uh, I want to do this on my own. But when he got to the supermarket, he looked down at the list and saw that there were 10 ingredients needed just for the pasta sauce. With a sigh, Linguini headed down the closet aisle and saw the aisle had tons of pre-made jars of pasta sauce. He knew Remy would never approve, but with so little time, he grabbed a sauce that looked like the recipe picture and moved on. Next on the list was vegetables. He remembered that the cookbook instruction listed steps for chopping and dicing and spiralizing. So he was happy to find a freezer full of pre-cut veggies. Linguini grabbed some bags and headed for the checkout line. After the supermarket, Linguini headed for the fish market and flower stand by the river. The list said to buy fresh and provided a few options. Noozles, scallops, shrimp. But while Linguini was deciding, he spotted a sign advertising live lobsters. That's as fresh as fish can get, Linguini thought. Five minutes later, he had bought the largest lobster at the fish market, quickly grabbed a bouquet of flour and was on his way. When Linguini returned to the restaurant, Remy was shocked to see that he had hardly followed the list at all. Pre-made sauce, frozen vegetables, and a live lobster? 
But Remy knew that a good chef can make a great meal out of any ingredients. So he hopped up on the counter and began to organize and come up with a revised dinner plan. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Linguini asked. He noticed Remy about to open a bag of frozen veggies. I've got it from here. Why don't you sit down and relax? Linguini quickly got to work on the meal. He sliced bread and put it in the oven, put the lobster in some water in a pot on the stove and began heating the veggies in the pasta sauce. Half an hour into cooking, Linguini was a little surprised. Everything was going so smoothly. That was until he turned around to see Remy testing the sauce. Little chef, Linguini exclaimed. Have you been helping this whole time? Remy nodded. Linguini held out his hand and Remy hopped onto his palm. I know you're just trying to help, but I really want to do this myself. It's a special gift from me to call it, you know. I just want to try. Understanding, Remy headed out the kitchen door. Linguini was trying to do something from the heart and Remy wanted to let his friend do just that. With Remy gone, Linguini tried his best to pay extra close attention to what he was doing. But things quickly fell apart. After only 10 minutes, the bread was burned, the lobster was still swimming around because he had forgotten to actually turn on the stove. And he realized he didn't buy the right pasta. Just when Linguini thought things could not get any worse, the sauce exploded all over the kitchen. Linguini sank to the floor and called for his friend. Little chef! Remy ran into the kitchen and sat down next to Linguini. I'm sorry, pal. I wanted this gift to be from me to her, but I think we will create something even more special together. Would you help me finish cooking? Colet deserves a great meal on her birthday, and I know with your help we can make one. Remy got up and began running around the kitchen looking for anything he could save from the sauce explosion. Then he started flipping through the cookbook searching for a different recipe. Eventually, Remy found something they could make together using what Linguini had left from the store and what Remy had in the restaurant. He hopped on Linguini's head to get to work. But first, he and Linguini moved the lobster back into its tank. They would set the little guy free later. Just as they finished cooking, Colette arrived at the restaurant. Linguini led her to a table where Remy had set the food and the flowers. Linguini by Linguini and Little Chef, he announced proudly. This food smells amazing, she exclaimed, smiling. And how would you know this was my favorite pasta growing up? And flowers too. Linguini and Remy shared a knowing look. I had a bit of help. Linguini chuckled. Happy birthday, call it. Like, share, comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.